What's up guys? We're gonna do a quick walkthrough video of my brand new 2022 Shallow Sport 21 Sport model. Uh, I had an opportunity to land one of these after I sold my old boat um, through Gulf Coast Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas. They had one on allocation and it was already built, but when I stepped in, I had the wonderful opportunity to get in there and customize it exactly how I wanted it. So first time I've ever been able to do that with a boat. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, just to walk you through it very quickly, it is a 21 foot quadrahedral hull boat. Uh, that's made for running skinny water. Um, I've only been out on it a couple times so far, and so far so good. Uh, I'm really looking forward to do a more thorough, in-depth kind of owner's review, like I usually do with my toys. Um, handles great. You know, I'm coming from a center console bay boat, a 246 Roballo uh, Cayman. Uh, loved that boat. It was actually you know, the, the king out here in the bay in Aransas Pass area, Rockport area, Corpus Christi. It was the perfect running boat uh, for all types of conditions in the bay. Uh, and he can even get you out into the offshore stuff uh, sometimes. Uh, but I really wanted to start getting skinny, get in, catch those redfish, catch those trout, catch those flounder, snook, whatever it was. I wanted to get in skinny and really start exploring the bay a little bit more than I was able to in my uh, big old Roballo 246. This thing's super easy to handle, super easy around the docks. I haven't even bumped any of the edges because it's so responsive, maneuvers very well. As you can see, I do have the Minn Kota trolling motor, Tarova. You know, something new this year was the Engel. Um, ice boxes instead of the yetis so i was a little disappointed about that but ingle seems to be a good brand also uh, i did have them add the uh, pedestal from factory with the two rod holders i went with the raised platform rod holders on the side all black powder coated i went with this top i forgot what they called this top versus the other uh, version um, the only thing i'm seeing that maybe i would go with the other version is that when you look back to check your uh, jack plate and your trim, uh, there is a lot of stuff kind of in the way. Uh, I also opted for the Minn Kota Raptor versus the Power Pole. Uh, so far, so good. I'll keep y'all up to date on that. Maybe do a review on just that guy. Um, only got one of them, and so far, I really don't think I'm gonna need another one. This boat's very light, and that thing holds it pretty well. I uh, got my step ladder. The 200 Suzuki, and really that's about it. A um, lot less storage, a lot less seating on this boat than I'm used to, but man, when I'm out there fishing just myself, I feel fucking great. It is amazing. Um, it is fun. Uh, it inspires confidence in the shallow water. Uh, it alleviates any doubt that you might have uh, when you're running across the water. Um, but anyways, I will come back and do a more thorough review, get some uh, footage of it running and as well as, you know, get up in the helm and talk to you guys about some of the other features. Uh, but thanks for watching. I'll be back with another one shortly. Uh, also, the other reason I put this video up is because when I was purchasing this boat, uh, there was hardly any videos of the, the shallow sports, which I don't know why. They need to get their marketing team on that and they need to you know, start running some reviews, getting some more shots of uh, these boats running. Um, you're finding 1970s, 1980s footage of these boats running, uh, or excuse me, 1980s, 1990, early 90s footage of these boats running in shallow water, which is impressive, but you're not seeing any of their new models. Uh, I did mention the quadrahedral hull. That is pretty sweet. It helps this boat cut through some chop, but it also keeps it super skinny. Uh, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, again, until next time, I'll be doing another video. Appreciate y'all watching. Have a nice day.